Joel Donadel, thank you for joining us on timeanddate.com. It's my real pleasure to welcome you at the uh, Guyana Space Center, the Europe Space Board. Well, thank you very much. And it looks like a wonderful day there today uh, in Kofu. Yes, it is indeed, indeed. Very sunny. <laughs> now, Europe's spaceport is just over 500 kilometers from the equator. That's a little over 300 miles. Uh, now, there's a good reason for that. Yeah, because French Guiana gathers all the necessary conditions to make the most effective uh, launch base. First, it's a uh, French uh, overseas uh, territory, which is located uh, outside the cyclonic zone, and it uh, sits uh, on the Atlantic coast, so all orbits can be reached uh, without flying over uh, inhabitants. And uh, last but not least, it's uh, just 500 kilometers north of the equator, five degrees north of the equator. And uh, thanks to this proximity, the launches benefit from the slingshot effect, important uh, slingshot effect. This means that uh, the speed of the Earth's rotation creates uh, a specific energy and increases the speed of the launcher by roughly 460 meters per second. Now, we should point out that, that that extra speed that helps with launching rockets also plays a role in solar eclipses. Uh, the moon's shadow moves across the Earth at high speed in the same direction that the Earth is spinning. So nearer the equator, where the Earth is spinning faster, it actually keeps up more with the moon's shadow which means that the shadow is moving slower across the map and therefore eclipses last longer. So eclipse watchers can also benefit from that extra speed we get at the, uh, at the equator. Uh, now tell us, uh, Joel, uh, how many launches do you have a year from the spaceport? We we are uh, we have uh, roughly twelve uh, launches per year, and very recently we have performed uh, three uh, launches in a month. So why does Europe need its own space program? An independent access to space for Europe is vital. This is why uh, the European Space Agency and its uh, twenty-two member states are investing a lot to have launchers and to also have uh, a European launch base, which is here in French Guiana. Now, for most people, uh, watching a total eclipse is a once-in-a-lifetime event. Watching a rocket launch is also a, a once-in-a-lifetime event for most people who are lucky enough to see one. If somebody had to choose between watching a total eclipse and watching a rocket launch, which one would you recommend? I would definitely recommend to witness both because uh, both events are absolutely uh, unique. And one is the uh, achievement of a human undertaking our space, and the other is a natural wonder of the universe. So uh, it's impossible to choose. <laughs> Joel Donadel, thank you very much for talking to us on timeanddate.com. Thank you very much to you. Bye, Graham. The Great American Eclipse, Monday, August 21st, live on timeanddate.com.